Okay, if you're a Mutual device user like Redmi Note 9S, Pro, Pro Max, or Poco M2 Pro, any of these devices, if you are using any of these devices, you can install this MIUI 13 China Beta update. Of course, there's a ported ROM for this device. If you install this, let's find out some things which you get here, some things which are working, and a lot more other things. The version which we are talking about here is MIUI 13 22.2.7 beta version. Of course, it's a ported, ported ROM and you can see the name of the developer. It's based on Android 12 actually. Let me move on to the all specs if you're able to see. It's based on Android 12. So yes, you also have the Agni kernel pre-installed. So it has good performance. And yes, I'm using it from past 24 hours most probably. And it's very good in the terms of performance. Super fast, but yes, I'm not coming comparing it with AOSP at all because AOSP is far more better in all the terms if you compare it with MIUI but in the terms of MIUI comparison I think so it's a very good choice this is a ported room so if you're having any kind of if you're facing any kind of minor bugs you can avoid those because it was expected MIUI 13 22.2.7 version let's find some other things which you get here some things which are working some new things and else it was expected and yes you have the monet theming working yes it's based on android 12 and according to the wallpaper color the google apps will be changed automatically for example i am taking the google play store as an example if you're able to see i have applied the green color wallpaper and the google play store color is also in green so yes material you theming is included even though it's china beta but material you theming is working pretty fine so it's it's at least a very good thing in this one as it is based on Android 12 and in MIUI 13, Android 12, the new control center was there. So yes, it's also there. I haven't updated any kind of system UI app from there. So yes, keep this in mind. This is by default. And if you like this control center, you will definitely love this after installing this build on your device. By the way, swiping, etc. Things are working pretty much fine. The media controller is also present here. If you want to listen music, with the music player is present here for you. Everything else is just looking good. Unlike the global or India stable with the devices or the custom rooms which you have based on MIUI 13, this contains a new app vault for you which includes a widget in the global variants or in India rooms etc. You don't have this kind of app vault or this kind of widgets available. Those things have the same kind of things. Uh, basically, you can say the MIUI 12 things or MIUI 12.5 things with just uh, logo change with MIUI 13. Yes, a lot of users are saying that and this might be those two. Let's just move on to the default launcher here. One thing I've noticed that in the default MIUI 13 update when I installed it first time, I got the don't show text option which is called 4x7 and some little bit of extra things here. But in this one, I didn't got that. By the way, that's not by default. I tried updating this launcher from the get app. So after updating the default launcher, this is what we are having the settings etc. And yes, if you also want to update, get apps is included. You don't have the Google Play Store pre-installed, so keep this thing in mind. You need to install the APK file and you're good to go. I would install the APK file of Google Play Store. The link for that APK file is in the description. Install the file and you're good to go. Talking about the camera section, the camera section as expectedly is just perfectly working fine here. No issues here for me so, so far. I tried checking out the gallery editor etc. If I try to edit something, the first thing which you will see, you will see the this kind of anime, this kind of permission things. Gallery need to access SD card. It's not a big deal. Simply move on to any folder. For example, if I move on to the SD card, create new folder, click on whatever you want to choose, click on OK and use this folder allow and then go back and yes the editor is working fine even if we don't allow this permission the editor should work fine here this is the thing called protective watermark which is a thing available in the MIUI 13 gallery it's present there by the way if you want to get the MIUI 13 gallery in the custom rooms even without root it's there i made a video already on that thing so make sure to check out that if you want to install the MIUI 13 latest MIUI 13 working gallery in your other custom rooms that is working fine for me, but if it is not working for you, that's bad luck, but it should work as I tried that in two custom rooms so far and the thing was working pretty fine. You need to install those APK files and that's working without root. That's something really interesting about the MIUI 13 gallery, like create PDF, protective watermark, all the features are present and almost working perfectly fine so far. 
let's move on to some other things let me show you one more thing here if you're able to see if i try to uninstall any kind of system app from here i'm able to uninstall you can see uninstall option is present a lot of things are available here to uninstall and as you just saw the uninstall is now possible even the recorder can be uninstalled even though it is a system app so yes that's something really really good as you can see i can remove that for example remove music from home screen is a system app so yes you can uninstall the system apps which are very which is of course a very good thing you will not be able to uninstall the get apps messaging etc but fm radio you can uninstall if you want to the compass you can uninstall that's something really good calculator even you can uninstall but you can't uninstall the browser it was expected yes you can't uninstall the browser but yes no worries i don't think so most of the users will use the me browser which is pre-installed you can use the other browsers available here for you via browser which i use which is of course only one mb it's good if you talk about the safeness status, uh, the app which I'm using right now is YAS and AC yet another safety net attestation checker. And the safeness status, unfortunately, is not passing here. Let me show you. As you can see, basic integrity fail, CTS pro profile match fail. If safeness status is also failing for you, it should, of course. You need to use some modules for that. And to pass safeness status, I have a specific dedicated video already available. So make sure to check out that if you want to pass safety net status here. As this is based on China or theme store is also in China, which means you'll be able to import the third party themes if you want to the MTZ files. I made a video on a very good looking theme on my Hindi channel about Xiaomi devices, Mi 12, Mi 12.5 supported for that, even Mi 13 should support for that. So make sure to check out that if you want to apply that theme. You will be able to apply the theme on your device after using the MTZ option, which is working pretty fine here. I have tried applying some themes, working good. As I just tried to change the wallpaper you just saw here, and uh, that was a blue kind of wallpaper. So you can see the Google Play Store has now blue color, blue color theming available, which is called Material U, which is absolutely working fine. If you move on to the settings section, etc. What are the things you get in settings? It's kind of same. If you move on to the wallpapers and personalization, you don't have the super wallpapers pre-installed. Super wallpapers, of course, make your device laggy, but you have the dynamic MIUI 13 wallpapers available. Other MIUI 13 wallpapers are, of course, present as expectedly. You can even customize the fonts, two kind of fonts available here. Including that, other options are kind of same lock screen etc home screen the default launcher you just saw i made i already shown you previous times we have the fingerprint face unlock everything is working fine security section of course has same kind of things the new options present here privacy protection also has a new kind of ui present for you the battery section of course has a save battery balance mode and performance mode all these modes present even you can check out the temperature including that additional settings languages and input you have the china keyboard available it does not include the google keyboard so keep this thing in your mind special features includes a sidebar which is of course working fine you have the option to enable the always show option which is working pretty fine here so things are pretty much good about this build i think so it's good enough let's just talk about the installation process by the way installation is not so hard but still let me show you how to install this thing on your device in my case i'm using orange fox custom cover the file which you need is mutual 1312.save the link for this file is in the description select the file install the thing after that simply wipe the partitions data cache delvic after that you need to install the firmware according to your device in my case i'm using katana which is redmi note 9s if you're using any other device pro max or poco m2 pro etc use that firmware and after that last but not the least for my data you're good to go thanks for watching goodbye Like I'm floating through the air